Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo. I have hit the Dollar Tree and let's just say I did some damage. So it was a little strange to be back into the Dollar Tree. It's very different now. Um, there are guards up between the cashier and the patrons. Everyone's wearing masks, some people wearing gloves, and I think there's just a sort of level of tension. I have been to the Dollar Tree twice now, and um, I missed shopping at the Dollar Tree, so I have a large haul. So I do have some craft items. I have some bath and body stuff, household stuff, food items, some pet items, a lot of cleaning items. Let's just say I really missed being able to go to the Dollar Tree and I kind of made up for it. So I am gonna move quickly. I'm gonna start with some craft items. So this Dollar Tree is fairly new. I did take you guys on a grand opening shop with me a few months back and they have a really neat craft item section now and lots of wood items, lots of new things to me. I've seen them hauled before, but to be honest with you guys, with all this going on, I've been in my own little Golden Girls world. I haven't been watching a lot of YouTube, so I don't know if any of this is super new. So let's start off with the craft items my daughter picked. So my daughter knits. It's not a skill that I have at all, um, but she was able to find some yarn, so she picked up some white and some orange and a lot of this yellow. She's already half made something, I forget what she's calling it, but it's halfway between a scarf and a blanket. And it's just kind of something you put on your shoulders when it's cool in the morning, which it hasn't been at all here. It's been pretty warm. She's also really been into painting. And so she was thrilled to go shopping as well as any girl who's been in quarantine would. And she picked out some new items from their craft line to paint and they had some pretty cool items this is a pretty large standing cross they had two crosses one was shorter i think she's going to be giving a lot of these away but this one she wanted for herself it's just a little chalkboard and it's just plain on the back and then she got the cactus which i think is really cute we kind of joke around that she is prickly like cactus sometimes so i don't know if she'll keep that one as well she really liked the arrow. The last time we were there, she picked up a very large arrow. Well, it was wider. It was actually shorter than this one. And then a flower. So those are some items that she wants to get busy crafting. Another idea that she had was to do some rocks for our neighborhood. So with quarantine in place, lots of people are taking walks in the evening and afternoon. We see a lot of families where we live and she wants to put little hidden treasures around for the kids. So she's got these large rocks. Now some of them are bigger than others. There are a few in here that are smaller, but they're just little stones and do things like paint little ladybugs on them and different little things that would be fun for kids to find. Now, these are my crafty items, and then we'll get into some little trinkets and decor items. These stickers I was so excited about, I gasped because that's what I do in the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I think that is a wonderful font. I love the smaller case or just shorter ones actually. And it says they are rub on transfers. So I'll be very interested in getting those into my craft stash. Now these I'm a little bummed about. This is something in the frame aisle that I found and I'm being very careful with everything. So gloves, mask, throwing things into my car and not touching them for days. And I kind of bent these. So they are photo mats. This one is the four by six. So that's this size and this size is the eight by 10. So it would fit nicely in an eight by 10 frame. So I got a black and then I got this one in the white, which is the five by seven. And that would fit an eight by 10 frame. But again, I bent them. Now, 
What I'm probably gonna do is cover them anyways with paper or fabric or something like that. So I'm not too worried about it, but a little bit bummed. I have to be more careful, even though I'm trying to be a different kind of careful, if that makes any sense. Another item I gasped at because I had seen other people use them, but I've never ever been able to find them are the wood rounds. And so what are these called? Floral stems, wood stems. So they're like little birch logs cut into tiny little pieces. I just was so excited to find them that I picked them up. Don't even have an idea yet for how I'm gonna use them. But you know, I think things like this are great during Christmas. So we'll see when I get to use those. Um, these are not craft related, but these are things my daughter wanted to pick up. And I think these were out for Mother's Day. They're just fun little bookmarks. And I think, are they magnetic? I know that a while back they had those magnetic ones that would sort of clip to each other around the page you were on, but I'm not sure about these. So they had a few different ones. Everyone's doing a lot of reading right now. Uh, this is also something I think was out for Mother's Day and they also had it i think in pink and yellow it's just a ceramic butterfly it's got those little divots in it so she really wanted this for her room and i had seen sarah at sensational finds haul or share this on instagram i'm not sure but i love you girl she's a lot of fun i really enjoy her um she hauled this black one, which I picked up for myself because as soon as she showed it, I was like, yes, she's right. She had said how Dollar Tree doesn't normally do their little decorative items in black. You see some white if you're lucky, but then a lot of colors. And this is going by my bedside because I use earplugs every night. So I was very happy <laughs> to find that. So I'm glad she had mentioned it. And then this one is sort of a teal. Now the butterfly is more of a green, but those are two things my daughter picked out. While we were at the register, uh, we spotted this <laughs> and she had to have it. So it's one of their jewel pins, but now this part is a metallic color. So they had some silver and I think something else, but this one is rose gold, if you're able to see. And it's a turn pen. So she'll be happy to have that now. Now, I haven't really been doing much here on YouTube, a little bit at a time, just a little each week. Um, I really need to pick up my pace. I've gotten a little bit lazy and I've been doing some things for my family. So I wanted to send some masks to my mother-in-law and my grandmother-in-law for Mother's Day. And I pulled up a few different patterns online and I'm making the Olsen mask. So I needed something for the metal right here around the nose. So I picked up some more of these pipe cleaners. I don't mind just doing a scarf, a t-shirt, something like that. I've showed you guys that before on my channel, but for them, I really want them to have something that's comfortable that they will wear. So that's what I've been doing. My sewing machine is right behind us. I've been sewing up a storm. Now, Part of why we went to Dollar Tree was that my daughter really misses her friends and her and her close friend haven't seen each other since March 12th-ish. So um, they had had a loss in their family and we just really wanted to give her some love. So we went to the Dollar Tree uh, in our neighborhood. A lot of people use the flamingos uh, that you can get for summertime at the Dollar Tree for flockings and so it can be used as a fundraiser you just cover someone's yard in them and say you know you got flocked by so and so and you can pay to have other people flocked and a lot of uh, schools do this for their PTA so we decided to make a little sign and cover her yard in the little pink flamingos and lays and my daughter made a sign for her that said I flocking miss you <laughs> And um, so we just got the poster board and some large stickers from the Dollar Tree and she put together a sign really quickly. And then we picked up these, which is why I'm sharing it as a craft item. 
Now, we opened them. Should have bought two packs. These are actually bamboo skewers. But if anyone ever served me a skewer this long, I don't think I'd be able to eat for like a month. Um, so I'm sharing those as a craft item because what we did is we wanted the sign to stand in her front yard with her flamingo flock. And so we put a little bit of hot glue on each corner of the poster board and then just reinforced it with some masking tape um, with two skewers on each end. And that made a great little sign for her yard. And she was really happy. And um, it was just nice to be able to do something small to cheer her up. So that's craft items. Now I'm gonna shift everything away and we'll get into some health and beauty. So Mother's Day during a pandemic is fun. <laughs> It's interesting. Um, I normally try and see what Dollar Tree's putting out for Mother's Day. They come out with some new Bolero items usually around this time. So I was happy to find these in store. So these are some body washes. Now they are 10 fluid ounces and I think they're doing a good job on their packaging. It looks a lot more like a Bath and Body Works item. This one is the Jasmine and orange blossom. I love anything orange. I also picked it up in this one and this one is the rose and coconut. Now it says it's two times more concentrated so I will be very interested to see if that's true because some Bolero products can be kind of watery so I think they're listening so that's good. Now this is something new to Dollar Tree. I actually have some of this in my stash from my 99 cent store. I like to have cute little gifty things like this that I can throw together a gift on short notice um, with like a gift card. So it's just the Himalayan pink salt bath salts. I think the packaging's adorable. It's a faux mason jar, nice heavy plastic. I think that's going to be nice to add more to my stock. It was fun to see something from 99 cent store come over to the Dollar Tree. Now. Oh, I didn't realize in store that this was Body Ecology. If I did, I would have picked up more. So Body Ecology is a Walmart brand and my daughter just saw the scent, which is Cherry Blossom. That's her favorite Bath and Body Works scent. And she grabbed this. It is a cleansing shower jelly. Um, didn't smell it, so let's give it a Should have picked up more. I think it's really distracting now to shop with a mask on and I didn't realize this smells very close to Bath and Body Works, very close. So maybe next time I, I'm there, I'll pick up some more. Now, she also wanted this, which we call a scrubby. They call it a bath sponge. I wouldn't call this a sponge. Um, and then a little back brush. Those are things I like to have on hand too, because you can very quickly put together a cute gift for no money. Now, this is something else that she's really been into. It's the bow scrunchies. Um, it's kind of like a 50s look. I think it's adorable. So Dollar Tree had a few different colors and prints. She wanted the navy. They had it in gold. And then this is something I wanted from up by the register. I like to have my keys on a lanyard because it makes them easier to find in my purse. And I don't keep a lot in my purse, but just to be able to find them quickly. So I thought that was a really pretty flowery print. Must be out for Mother's Day. I don't know, to tell you the truth. Now, this is another thing I normally try and pick up at my 99 cent store because you get 100 and at Dollar Tree you get 80, but I'm using these all the time. They're just the cotton rounds and I use them to take off nail polish. I use it for witch hazel on my face. Now I'm using it with alcohol to clean off my phone. <laughs> it's lots of fun. So also picked up some Dial soap. I love Dial, it's antibacterial. This one is Lavender and Twilight Jasmine, and we needed some more nail polish remover. Now, we don't have um, artificial nails unless we're gluing them on for fun, 
So I always buy the 100% acetone because with one cotton ball, you can usually get all your nail polish off. A few more Bolero items. So as part of their new Bolero line, they also have the wipes. We were running low on our stock. So this is something I use daily to take off my makeup every night before I wash my face and my daughter. So, um, and I also like to just use them in the morning just to freshen up. So this one is the orange blossom and jasmine and this one is the rose and coconut. So I got a couple of those and then they had the tried and true a few different brands that they've had out for a while. So I always try and grab as many as I can and same thing with this. We were running low on toothpaste because we've been shut-ins. So I'm not going to bore you with the details, but I got just a little bit of toothpaste. Um, I think I tend to be a prepper by nature. So I just like to have a good stock. We don't have a ton of space for storing it, so I get very creative and try and stay very organized. And toothpaste is something I never, ever want to be out of. It was so exciting for me to just be in a store and buy toothpaste because everything we've done has been online shopping and deliveries. So I went a little overboard. I also got some toothbrushes just because when this all hit, I started replacing everyone's toothbrush and getting very crazy about hygiene. I also picked up some more toothpaste. So now let's go into some stationery and food items and a few little cute things for decor. I also have graduation items and cleaning products. So let's move this stuff out of the way. So I don't know about your area, but here things are still a little hard to find on the shelves, like rice. So when I found this 32 ounce pack of long grain rice, I picked up a few. Um, it's just by McTrader, never heard of that brand, but it's 32 ounces. So I just bought a few, set them aside, and just be a little prepared in case we need to in a few months or so. Also, I picked up some pinto beans. These have also been hard to find. This is just a 16 ounce, so I picked up a few of those. I also got some of the black beans that are also 16 ounces. The cashier and I discussed how we prepare our refried beans. We do it the exact same way. And he looked at me and he said, you know how to cook. <laughs> and I said, I also know how to eat. <laughs> so, we tried some of this uh, a couple weeks back. It was just in my stock and it was really good. So I picked up four more packs. It's authentic Spanish style rice. And then this, I was really excited to see because I really like jasmine rice. And I use it with a lot of our stir fry and different things that I make for dinner. So they had this, it was jasmine rice. This one is 16 ounce. I picked up two of those by So Natural, so I'm interested to try that. I like to have lemon in my water, but during all this, it hasn't been easy for me to just get lemons, just go by the store. So I got some of this to try. It's true lemon, and you get 12 packets for, is this for your water or your tea? So I'll be using these in my water, should I need them. Now this is from the pet section for the pooch. And this is a water buffalo ear. And I got a two pack of rib bones. So we do have a dog. These bones are about the same size as our dog, but I wanted to pick some things up for him to chew on. Now I wanted to pick up some Mother's Day cards. We did that and I had to look around. I love their cards and I found this one that I just think is adorable for a good friend whose birthday isn't for many, many months. Um, but I had to pick it up because it just screamed her style. Something I forgot to show you guys during the craft haul are the silicone finger covers. I finally found them. With the amount of hot glue that I use, I am so happy to be able to try these. I picked up two packs. And then this is a staple for me when I go into Dollar Tree looking at food. I've really been obsessed with making my own Southwest chicken salad. So 
I do lettuce, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of black beans or corn or both. I don't like tomatoes um, and some chicken, of course. And Walmart has a really good Chipotle ranch. So a little bit of that with these, so good. My daughter's been obsessed with it too. Now I had an idea when all this hit and I'm just gonna give you this information. It's turning into a very chatty haul, so I'm gonna go with it. Um, that I could buy very large trash bags, like outdoor black, massive trash bags like these, and cover my cart. So I could get a cart and just put it inside of the cart and it would just cover the entire cart. And that way I can put my things into my cart and have a layer of protection, a little bit of barrier between me and whatever was in the cart before. It didn't work. <laughs> Let me save you the trouble. Um, we're always donating things to Goodwill and that sort of thing, so that's how I'm gonna use them. But my daughter and I tried it and we failed. So either baskets have gotten bigger and or Bags have gotten smaller since I was a kid because these things used to be massive. Now I just needed a few things from the stationary aisle. This was a pretty good buy. So at places like Walmart and stuff like that, you can get the 50 pack for about a dollar, um, maybe 50 cents. This was a 200 pack. So my kids are always using those. Uh, with my husband home, He's having meetings in our bedroom where his office is. So I bought these for him so he can just put a little sticky note on the back of the door if he's in a meeting and doesn't need interrupted. And you can just, he can even color code if he wants to do different stickies. So it's what we're doing to survive over here. And I'm making lots of lists now because with everyone home, there's more to do around the house. There's more picking up and cleaning because we're all here all the time. There's more meals to make, more of everything. So I'm making more lists. I also needed some mailers to send things out to family. And then we were so sad. We had ordered things to make pizza. We really missed pizza. And so we made some homemade pizza and we didn't have any olives to put on them. I love, I love olive and pineapple on my pizza. So we made sure to pick some up at the Dollar Tree. And another staple, I've gotta have them. I know, they're bad for the, I know, I know. We also made some kebabs and realized we were out of skewers, so it became stir fry. It's interesting during quarantine when you just make things happen. So I picked some more up to have on hand. Now I got three things for 4th of July or um, patriotic decor. This one I'm just gonna <laughs> share as is because I don't know how this happened. They have these really cute little garden stakes. They had this one and then the opposite where it was right here and they're cute, you know. It doesn't really turn or anything. It's just a cute little decorative flower. Well, it came on this and then I was taking it out of the bag and it was in two pieces and I thought, oh, surely it's got something that I just, <laughs> oh, maybe it doesn't. So I think it's just welded, but just kind of came apart. That's fine. I have hot glue. I'm not worried about it. And I thought those were really cute. They're different than what they've been in the last few years. And they had this. I thought this was super cute. This is the only one that I found. And I just think it's super cute. You're a grand old flag and the little corrugation, you know, you could turn it over, but I'll probably use it for patriotic decor and this. And I couldn't tell in the store, but I think it's paper. I was hoping it was fabric, but it's just a cute um, flag banner for 4th of July, summer, any way you want to use it. So now I'm going to move everything again and we're going to talk about cleaning products and graduation. So my Dollar Trees are limiting the amount of cleaning products that each customer can buy to four. I find it interesting what they're limiting and what they're not and the numbers. I expected things like rice or maybe some staples like that to have limits and they didn't at my store. 
So I did buy some cleaning products. I have been twice, as I said, to the Dollar Tree. Now, <laughs> I made sure that they knew this was not a cleaning item so that when I got up, I could still get my four cleaning items, but it is a goodbye. So we are out of some washer fluids. So I just picked this up. I think it's a great buy for a dollar. And I always pick these up. We were almost out, which, oh, I need to get back on my game of my stocking. We also picked this up as um, just a needed item. Funny story, it fell out of our bags and we didn't notice and we were driving away and a couple walking um, just out on a walk with masks on in front of the Dollar Tree were pointing. So they caught my attention out of my rear view mirror and I realized they were pointing to my toilet scrubber that I must have dropped on my way out the door. <laughs> so I stopped and got out and got it. Gotta have a toilet brush. Okay, on to the household items. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite. I clean everything from the inside of our air fryer to my sink and put this in my laundry. So I love this stuff, I picked up some. This is another staple for me. I absolutely swear by this stuff. It is the best stain remover that I have found and I will always, always use it. This I was very happy to find because I was just wanting to make sure we had plenty and a nice big container of bleach. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I scrub the inside of our dumpsters out with it. I know everybody's got to have clean trash cans around here so I wanted to have that I like to use the concentrated bleach from places like Walmart in my laundry but for the dumpsters I can do some Dollar Tree bleach uh, another item by totally awesome that I love is this stuff I bought it before it's a great just general cleaner and it comes in either the spray bottle or the refill and the refill is 32 ounces the spray bottle is less it's 20 so I did need the actual sprayer I would recommend that I'm reserving all of my antibacterial wipes for things that need wiped out wiped down from outside of our house and then just for general cleaning we're using new stuff new habits and good old-fashioned washcloths and old rags so I don't know if you guys are doing the same I also picked up some Comet. This was nice. It was a little bit taller than the ones in the past. And more bleach. Give me bleach in any form, you'll sell it to me, spray or non. And then I also had to pick up some of my favorite. If you guys haven't tried this as a glass cleaner, you need to. So that's the household cleaning items. And we have a graduate. We do and He's graduating. He is graduating on paper. He is graduating in life. He will graduate whether he walks across the stage outside in 100 degree weather to a crowd of over a thousand, well over a thousand, or just at home with mom and dad and the family. So to celebrate him, I picked up a few things to have on hand. I'll definitely make a very nice meal and down the road, we'll have a nice party. So for a little at home party, I picked up some napkins in good old blue and gold. And you know, for graduation at the Dollar Tree, they do like a blue multicolor theme. And then they have this one that's more neutral. That's sort of the gold and silver and black. So I liked this, I think it'll go well with what I'm gonna do. And I got these napkins just cause I thought they were cute. I do have a craft in mind for them. So not graduation related. I should have put that in with the craft items. I also got a blue table cloth. Now, we have a sign from our school. They gave us a sign for every graduating senior when this all happened. It's been outside. I think for the week of graduation, I will grab some balloons and just got a nice weight for them. So obviously that's something I'll do closer to the date of when 
we would have our graduation ceremony. Something else I'm gonna do for him that I would have done for graduation anyways is a lay. So this is just one of the Dollar Tree lays and I'm gonna take, I love getting their pre-curled ribbon. <laughs> it's gold. And a lot of people do, um, are they orchid lays and flower lays and money lays? I'm gonna do a candy lay. So I got some candy to put on the lay. Of course, I'll try and make it as professional looking as possible. Let me know if you guys wanna see me do that. And then for our graduate, I thought this was a really nice card. They do have some really nice handmade cards at the Dollar Tree. And he's the class of 2020 and no one will ever forget the class of 2020. I got two sets of these, so they're individually sold, so I spent $4. Uh, these are not big, they come with little sticks, they're just little inflatable balloons, but I figured I could make a little centerpiece out of them. So I got two twos and two zeros, and then some ribbon to tie the candy onto his leg and his favorite. So that's my haul. Thank you for spending the last half hour or 45 minutes with me. I'm sorry. I just kind of needed to share all this with you guys and sit down and chat. I really enjoyed being able to go to the store again. I hope you are all doing well. And if you are going out and about, just be smart, you know, take your precautions. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you back very soon.